Bullhead Kamani is back again. Hey Shanti babes and welcome back to another video. Hello stranger, it's been a minute since we last kicked it. So today's video is sponsored by Cami Mall Hair. I think I'm saying that right. So let me let me just get into this hair. There's a few things. There's a few things. Here's your lemons, make lemonade. But it, it's it's a two-parter. It's a two-parter. So let's get into this. Y'all will see. So this is the gorgeous hair. Okay. You know, you girl love some colors. So we have the ombre. I think this bad boy is 24 inches. Almost looks 24, 26. Don't quite know. Let me get into the lace. Alright, let me get into the lace. So this is what I mean by turning lemons into lemonade. So they said that this is an upgraded lace um and i can kind of see it at first i was like what because this lace i had to color it because i've never seen something like this before let me see if you guys can see so there's no knots it's like a cloth in the middle all right and they're doing that so it looks obviously like scalp and you're supposed to color that let me see if you guys can stop right here but like i don't know what right here is and it's like i can risk cutting it but i don't even want to risk cutting it so it like seems but I know for a fact right now, this is not gonna give me a flat install. So, this is what I mean in this video. I'm gonna turn lemons into lemonade. I am going to make this wig a headband wig. Cloth doesn't go to the front, it has like a bump. And I'm gonna make this a headband wig, which is really nice because I think it's gonna look really, 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 really natural. Just for the sheer fact that there are literally no bumps in the front. Like, it literally just looks like straight scalp. I think this is gonna make a bomb, bomb headband wig. Um, just for the sheer fact it's long, it's pretty, my scalp will look like scalp up top, and I just think it'll look like a nice unit. I've never seen something like this again before, so making lemons into lemonade, and this is just such a long, pretty unit that I, if I'm gonna add curls to the end, I might, but I might not, because it is really pretty and just really long and full. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I can try to install it, but I just know for a fact it's not gonna give me a flat install, which is fine because personally, I think the headband wigs are too bulky. The actual headband wigs you buy from um, the China vendors are just way too bulky for my sake. And I like just adding my own headband. And sometimes if you're like me and you're not like the best wig installer, like you can do some stuff, but like my wigs be looking good for a solid day or two. And that's about it. Or sometimes I just, I feel really self-conscious in my wig just for the sheer fact i'm like oh my god like did i do a good job did i not do a good job so right now i'm gonna do my haircut guys as i chit chat with you so y'all can see me do both and you're not just watching me talk i have like a love-hate relationship with wigs as much as i love them i know i'm not like the best at doing them like i do a good job but obviously i'm not a freaking professional out here i do what i can but if you're like me you get a little self-conscious with your wig um throw a headband on it if you see me in like all my youtube videos for the most part so the days i'd be feeling i'd be looking good you see me in my youtube videos and my instagram most of the time i have a headband on and that's why and they're just really nice to throw on like you can literally throw on a wig not even glue it down and just throw a headband on it and literally call it a day so i'm starting this thing now with the ball cut method where i'm gonna use my foundation and color my wig first i usually do this after i do my glue and stuff but i'm gonna do it first we're gonna switch it up a little bit today yeah we're gonna, i think i might do a chit chat with me because I, I feel like i'm not stressed i'm usually so focused on getting the wig on my head perfectly and you know just like a normal hair video i'm just like really adamant on making sure i do it like perfectly but since i'm probably not gonna do a normal install i might just do a chit chat because like that's another thing it's nice because you don't really have to like it's not like really have to focus on a headband wig like worst case if it looks a little lopsided it looks a little crooked it's okay it looks a little off it's okay because i should probably get a mirror come on me because you're just gonna cover it anyway with the headband for the master class and let's talk business because i feel like that's what this channel is so we're doing a business tiktok business talk um yeah let's talk so we're going into 2022 all right I don't know how you guys' 2021 went. Mine went pretty decent for the most part. I want to know how everybody's 2021 went down below. Since I know a lot of you guys are business owners. How did business do this year? How? I want to know. And what's crazy is if you watched, if you're like really on Instagram and stuff, I don't really even really just paying attention to these people's businesses. It's crazy how everybody like transformed into skincare 
this year and I really want to say and I know people are probably coming at me in the comments and people obviously people did it before us but I really want to say the Ashanti collection really started the whole body butter wave and let me let me explain before everybody's like what are you talking about so last year we started body butter as many of you guys know we started in December which was around the Christmas time and we posted literally like our first few videos on body butters and they did okay but then we posted this one specific video of unicorn and our unicorn literally looked like unicorn poop it looked it didn't even look that good anywho we posted that and mind you the only person i really knew that did body butters was a brand called money barbie gloss skincare and i think the body boutique i followed on instagram they did body butter and those were like the only brands. I'm sure there were more, but there weren't that many. And those were like the only brands I knew that did body butter. So and I would always watch King Care, even though it seems like she'd be struggling at times a lot. I know her brand is like, I don't know. It's very love Haiti with their customers, as I can see. Um, that's beyond the point. Those scissors suck. Holy crap. Yeah, I always would follow and watch skincare. And I would just see her getting like crazy amount of orders and her with her big machines. That was before anybody really had like huge machines, uh, like huge mixers. Not everybody seems like has those mixers and filling machines and all that stuff. All that jazz. And I was just like so inspired by her. And I'm like, you know what? And I would see her skincare and all her cool scents that she would do. I was like, I haven't seen in Body Boutique, I haven't seen, because she didn't do any colors either. I'm like, I haven't really seen anybody do any colors. And Money Barbie Gloss was the only one I saw in Body Butters that did colors. And then obviously you had like your Trulies and stuff, but those are your big brands. Um, and even still, I think they only have a unicorn one that's really colored. And other than that, all the other ones are like, okay. But I was like, nobody's out here putting some craziness on their body butters and also there's another brand called k creates you know i'm shouting everybody out she does soap but she did really cool soap like delicious looking soap and i'm like i would always look at her soap and be like oh my god this stuff looks delicious and i'm like you know what let me combine body butter with awesome looking colors scents etc so i took two people i took i took the ideas i took what i saw and I'm like, you know what? I can put a twist on this. And I did. And we did, not I did, we did. And we came out with our body butters and no sooner after we posted a freaking filling video that be, went viral, you know? Like, as you guys know, that's what changed our business. Um, I'm actually gonna make a video on that soon. Oh. But, this is crazy. This is really crazy. I'm really trying so hard. I might have to focus and come back. We'll see. Now you know how I'm going to do it. Anyway, and that video went viral. And it's like, since then, though, when I were discussing, every video we like posted went viral from filling. And it's insane because it's like, I do that now. I post filling videos and they won't even do nothing. Like, just straight filling videos. People are like, oh, just post straight filling videos. I'm like, that would literally do absolutely nothing. But. My, the moral of the story is body butters were not like again other than like the few businesses i had at where like everybody had a lip gloss business body butters weren't like skincare and body butters just weren't a thing really you know other than again a few brands i had like a handful of brands so i'm like you know what this is it this is going to be the future and i called it and if you watch my videos last year i literally called it i'm like this is going to be the future i said i literally said in one of my videos i'm like just like how everybody and i could really go back and find it but i'm not even going to do that but i said just like how everybody has lip gloss businesses i'm going to call it that body butter is going to be the new thing and lo and behold after our video went viral and you know people were chit-chatting about our body butters and like every video we posted like was going crazy and it's like if i did that now that's not even the case and it's like i was like to the point I'm like wow this is crazy and like look and i couldn't handle it because we're like and this is what a massive growing pain last year when a lot of people would cripple and give up we went from getting like 20 orders i would say a week if that to getting two three hundred orders in a day that's the type of craziness that ended up occurring i think the highest day we had was like 400 orders like something crazy three four hundred orders and we were like the phone literally 
dinged, 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 dinged. I really wish I recorded. I think we were just like an absolute all five. Really, every hour, every five, every two, every minute there was a sale coming in. Like that's how crazy it was. And if it wasn't every minute, it was every five minutes. If it wasn't every five minutes, it was every time. It was insane. And I don't think we've ever recreated such havoc since then. And that was literally the craziest thing that has ever happened in our entire lives. But I know this video is definitely all over the place, but I'm getting to a point, okay? So moral of the story is, fast forward to like February, March, when Logan and I finally get in the grass with the body butters and I post the video, you know, how body butters have made what they made us and blah, 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 blah. I'm looking around now. I'm seeing all these people getting into body butter. I'm just like, where do all these businesses come from? You know? Where do they all come from? And lo and behold, um, shortly after December, because nobody had one, nobody really had them in December, lo and behold, my explore page is filled with people tagging me and other people's posts like, oh, you guys are copying the Shakti collection, which is the same BS we had to deal with with Truly, like all y'all are copying Truly, which we don't even really get those anymore. We get those a few far in between, but I think people are establishing not establishing i think people are realizing that truly didn't invent the concept of body butters which was like so annoying for the longest point because everybody would literally tag truly and they truly followed us yeah they did follow us last year i don't know if they still do they probably do but it's like like that's how you know like our brand like there really wasn't like body butters that looked how we were doing it you know because like even they followed us like we got to the point where freaking truly beauty followed us i don't think i ever even mentioned that before but yeah they followed us um I'm being detailed over here with this wig cap for no reason, so I'm really about to just skip past this because this is actually insane. Like, that's so much attention that we were bringing, if that makes any sense. And I think a lot of other businesses saw that and they were like, oh, like, look at all these people, look at them getting orders, like, look at their followers, like, this is crazy. And no longer after that, I told you around the February, March area, I saw people start doing body butters and lo and behold we're ending 2021 and like every lip gloss brand has added body butters like literally every single one to the point that one specific person blocked me yes i know you blocked me if you watch my videos because it seems like you do this one specific brand blocked me to the point i'm like and it's like her body butters kind of look like ours but like they kind of don't so it's to the point like why are you blocking me like like i understand you do body butters you're not copying us like what do you i mean unless you are copying us like why are you blocking me that's the point if i start actually seeing you guys like, i have no issues with y'all doing body butters obviously like we're not the creators of body butters but my problem comes when you guys start creating the exact same things we're creating knowing diagonal well we created it that is no originality and as i would say that will get you nowhere in life be creative be creative I'm just trying to find the peppermint for my hair. Peppermint oil, if you guys didn't know, helps with the itching. Peppermint essential oil helps with all itching and discomfort. No way, I just got that bitch in my eye. Yep, damn. <sighs> Ten minutes later, your girl is back. That freaking hurt. All right, let's figure out where we left off. I do miss making gloss. I really do. I do. I'm right now finding a new vendor for gloss. Right, anyway, what I was saying was just be creative. There's plenty of room out here for everybody, but there's not room for copiers. There's not room for people taking, physically taking our videos and other people's videos and scamming people. I never understood that. I, you, you will not get anywhere in life. You won't get anywhere in your business. You won't get anywhere in life doing stuff like that. I, I, I literally assure you. And if you don't think karma is a thing, karma is a thing, everything will come full circle, 100%. So let's stop playing those games, stop stealing people's stuff. Um, but anyway, yeah, the whole brand is blocking, which is hilarious. But anyway, that's not even the point. The point is, and I, I truly think, you can agree to disagree, I don't care, you disagree all you want, but I know for a fact, our business, definitely catapulted the whole because it's like if you and this is a simple fact too if that's the case if our business didn't influence a lot of the lip gloss um business owners and a lot of business owners to get into skincare and body butters you can simply look at how people do their body butters because if that was the case a lot of brands actually just had plain body butters and then if you notice 
a lot of all these new brands. They don't you don't see like just plain white body butters. You see colorful body butters, but yeah. Anywho, that's a little side note. All right, I did prick myself with a watch over there. Just putting some ninety percent alcohol on my head. I want to say this hair had lace, and I cut it off, but I couldn't even tell you. I'm assuming it did. I don't see why it wouldn't. Yeah, there's little things in this. There's little things in my wig cap that are bothering me. But if I sit here and I keep doing this, I'm gonna be here all day. So let's stop. Now let's see what this wig is looking like. Um, and the nice thing with the headband wigs, you don't really need to worry about plucking your hair. You know. And they really are by just a wig. Get up and go wigs. As much as you're spending the money for a normal wig, don't I would not recommend buying a headband wig for the China vendors. But anyway, as much as you're spending the normal amount of money on a wig. Um, it's so worth it for the sheer fact of how convenient they are and you literally do not have to worry about anything So we did and it's not it's not a problem It's just The copiers is what my problem is, but it's not even the point. I'm glad everybody was able to win. I'm glad um That's the case. Yeah, this is no way gonna give me a flat install. So yeah, this is definitely gonna be a headband wig It has a really bulky front, which I really hate, but let's get ready to put this on I don't really like headband wigs because they don't stress me out. Like, no, putting on normal wigs stress me out because I'm like, I tell you, there's so much that can go wrong. Like, if you don't lay it right, you don't cut the lace right, you just, you got a whole mess. And headband wigs just throw on a wig. So I have on a call it a day. But anyway, I know what the new trend is going to be in this new year. So you know how everybody has bought their businesses now. I'm not even going to say it. I'm just going to let y'all see. So once we add it, and here I'm just going to test a little theory out. We're going to add them. In the new year we're probably gonna need help this year so if everybody if anybody's in the pennsylvania maryland jersey area that is willing to travel to like the harrisburg area let me know because we're definitely probably gonna hire help this year and sign make everybody sign ndas and a whole bunch of other stuff so it's about to be crazy um so i'm taking the ghost bond glue I know she has a headband wig and I don't think you have to glue down, like correct me if I'm wrong, I have no clue. But I don't know if you have to glue down normal headband wigs, but I am just so it's secure. But the nice thing is you can glue it down any type of way. Well, not like any type of way, but you can like, it doesn't need it, it again, it doesn't need to be perfect. It's just for the sheer fact, your headband is going to cover your entire front. So if you don't need to stress about it, and if you're like me, I stress about it all the time. I don't want people looking. Because I know the top of my hair obviously has dots and I just, I honestly, with the way this lace is, this lace is perfect for a headband wig. So I'm definitely not missing that opportunity. I'm really bleeding down bad over here. Oh yeah, you can definitely see it on camera. But I definitely have a new idea that I know is gonna rock our business and I'm really hoping that is like a game changer. It's crazy because I wanted our business to go in a different direction. I wanted to go mostly on the cosmetics base this year but i know for a fact i'm probably not ready for that i have something else in store which i know i'm super passionate about and i think that just fits with our whole theme and what we're trying to do with our specific line within our body butters so y'all just wait and i have we ever do retail i have like the craziest retail idea that i think it's so crazy it just might work and that's i really want to discuss it with you guys but i don't want to Tell you guys yeah i don't want anybody getting ideas you know opening a storefront is not the easiest thing you know we actually own a storefront so i'm like damn that actually might be the perfect way to test out my storefront idea but i don't know yet i don't know yet i definitely do want to hire some people and if we do get a person it wouldn't be bad just to have somebody work in the front and we just are open for a few hours we don't know what we want to do yet uh, just put two layers on. I'm gonna get it clear first. I'm gonna put one more layer on. So, okay, so she's um, she's pretty clear. No, since it doesn't really matter about the front, I'm kind of gonna experiment anyway. Ooh, what am I doing, Kamani? What are you doing? So, oh, bro, that might just be a five by five. I might be actually crazy. Yeah, it's definitely a five by five. Yeah, it has to be a five by five. So I'm just gonna pull it up. Boom, 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 boom. Put it on. <laughs> it's 
Do that nice little bump up. So yeah, this is definitely gonna be a headband wig. This one's secure. Definitely, as you guys see, is a little tangly down here. Definitely some shedding. Definitely some shedding. All right, I'm trying to get y'all to see this top. Let me see if I can get you guys to angle it on this action. You see how the cloth looks like scalp, but it has that bump up, you know? And we can't do anything with that bump up. So what I'm gonna do right now is, I'm gonna plug that hot comb in. I'm gonna go do some hot comb in action. I think the front is on pretty secure. Yeah. Wow, that is actually really melted, that's crazy. Melted, melted. I think it still should look okay with the headband, because I'm really worried that it does have that bump up that it won't look okay. But y'all are really about to find out with me. And if it doesn't, you best believe I will tell you. <laughs> Better yet, y'all can see. We'll be back in business. The only downside is, I don't know if this, is, this wig is a little too small for me, the wig cap. But like, I have this up here, which I don't know what to do with, because it's not really coming down. So, but again, it doesn't really matter because we have a headband wig on. I'm gonna show y'all how to do that and fix that. This might just be a turning any wig into a headband wig video. Cause that's crazy. Yeah, definitely has some shedding. I don't think it's a lot of shedding, but it definitely has some shedding and some tangling. I'm hoping that tangling action will be fixed if I add some curls to it. I don't know how to fix tangling in wigs. It's not like a bad bit of tangling, but to run my fingers through it. It's not the thinnest. So I just ran my fingers through it and that is what came out. That is actually a good bit of shit. I don't know. So and I think if I remember correctly in one of my videos, wigs with color in them that are bleached tend to have more shedding, I think. All right, I'm gonna go to headband, I'll be right back. All right guys, and now on to the fun part. Let's see. So this headband is literally just a generic headband I buy from like my local grocery stores and it comes in a pack, like a multi-pack. You can get the thick ones or the thin ones. Your girl has on a thin one, I think. So it has like a, this headband also has like a bump up and since I'm not, uh, I'm not a headband concierge. I was gonna say Caucasian because I don't really see a lot of black folk wear headbands like this like i see usually white girls wear them i don't know if that's offensive that's just my observation and since i'm not caucasian i don't know i don't really know where that bump up goes so it's like a little bump up i want to say it goes like this because it's what i want the bump up to be in the front i usually don't like the bump up to be in the front but we'll see so i'm gonna put the flat part i found one where'd you where'd you get this one from oh thanks Thanks for me. Lily knows that I'd be a headband person because I have headbands all over the place. I'm trying to put as much hair back as I can. I'm definitely being over dramatic. Super sun, hypnotic, funky, fresh. Look at my body, so my day. I'm so relieved to put headbands on. You have no idea. Cause it feels so good to not have to stress about your hair, your hair. All right, so she's on, boom, she's on. Now, she's on nicely, okay? Let me, let me just, okay, she's definitely on crooked. So, Caramel might be lying to me. That's why you got to go to a mirror. Things always make my head look so fucking oval, bruh. I don't think it's bad though. I think I look like a bad bitch. Kitty wanted to come say hi. Hi, hey, Kitty. She's always purring. Hey, Kitty. Say hi, Kitty. Hi, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to YouTube. Subscribe. Subscribe. You are always purring, little girl. Mm hmm? I'm going to some gum in here too. Mm -hmm. All right, Shanti babes, this is the final look. Um, I wanted to add curls to it, but I don't know if the hair wasn't taking the curls or if, like, you see a little curl I added, but I tried to flatten it back out. 
but I wasn't really liking me adding curls. I think the waves looks pretty good. So now I actually try to curl it. You can see that it bumps out. I'm trying to flatten it bad, but I didn't, like flatten it with a flat iron. I flattened it with my hot comb. But all in all, I think this hair tangles a lot more than I wanted to, even with it being wavy hair or not. Like if I go like this, it just tangles. And the back of it, you can definitely feel the tracks. So you have to make sure those are covered in the back but all in all um if i rate this hair out of 10 i would probably rate it like a five because there's things that i can improve but it does make a nice little headband wig depending on the price of the unit i fix that up right there but as you can see the cloth is very interesting so it definitely does make it look like scalp at the top but yeah this is what it looks like with the headband and that is it hope you guys enjoyed this install slash chit chat and i'll see you chunky babes in the next video let me know some more topics down below if you guys want me to do some more like chit chat get ready with me's or whatever in the future love to do that and without further ado i'll see you chunky babes in the next video bye guys